Hey love, welcome and welcome back. Yes, honey, welcome and welcome back. It is so good to have you here with us today. And if you are new to the channel, then welcome, sweetheart. It is a pleasure to have you. If you guys are ready to upgrade your professionalism by getting you an upgraded professional website, then look no further, boo. I got something special to share with you guys today. Today's video is sponsored by the one and only Wix. Yes, honey, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and let's get into it. Wix is a professional company who provides iCloud-based web development services. It allows users to create HTML5 desktop and mobile website through the use of their online drag and drop tools. You guys have asked me many times, how did I create my website? What did I use to design my website? No worries, boo. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to start and design your very own e-commerce desktop and mobile website. We're going to create the Wix account. You create your Wix account simply by signing up to Wix using an email address and then start creating your site. As you can see here, there's over 80 fully customizable online store templates and each one of the designs are fully customizable to you and to your preference. You can also choose from over 500 fully customizable Wix templates and you can even add the store app to have the ability to sell online. And today that's something we're going to do. I'm going to show you guys how to create your online store using the Wix app. Another thing that you guys often ask me is what can I name my business? What should the business name be? Or how do I I come up with a really good business name well look no further because Wix is here to help you out with that as well which is a really cool feature to use so for example you could go over here to the Wix logo maker and you can choose from different styles and different formats you can see here the options are totally limitless once you put in all of the information that you have of course it pulls up additional information so that you can see exactly how your logo is going to look not only on your website but also on business cards and everything else that you want your logo to be posted on so this will give you a better idea or understanding of exactly how great your logo is going to look all right now let's see what we have Wow, look at that, you guys. Look at all these beautiful designs that came about. And I mean, it's so hard to choose, but I'm going to choose this one here. Okay, so now that we have our business name, I'm going to show you guys how to upload your products and how to create your actual store, okay? So I kind of have everything all together so we can run through this pretty quickly, but I'm going to show you exactly how to input a product, okay? So here's an example. As you can see, you have the choice or the option here to upload as many things as you would like. I'm going to take this first one here and I'm going to show you exactly how you can put in your products. So as you can see here, it gives you the option to choose whether it's a physical or a digital product. So yes, even if you're thinking about creating a digital product or a drop shipping or print on demand store, this is a really good thing for you guys to see so that you'll know that this platform would not only work for physical products, but also digital products. Okay, so now let's go ahead and name our first product and we'll go ahead and upload the product image and we're also going to go down to the product description and then we can name our price. Um, you also have several different options here. As you can see, you can put items on sale and you can customize the text and you can also add color options with various colors. You can do it in list format or you can actually do it by coloring format. You also have the option to manage pricing and inventory for variants. So you can put in SKU numbers so you can also say if the inventory is in stock or out of stock. Not only that, you can also do subscriptions. Now that I have this product added, I encourage you to go ahead and continue with your product line and go ahead and keep adding in all of the products that are for your store, whether it's digital or whether it's physical. Okay, now that we have everything in our store, next step we're going to do is we're going to set up the shipping process, okay? Here on the shipping, you can set up regions you ship to and specify how these rates are calculated. As you can see, there are several different options. You can choose from a flat rate. You can choose from free shipping. There's even a way that you can make purchases offline. And this way you're guaranteed to not miss a sale. Meaning you can have people come to your store if you have a brick and mortar and they can pick up locally or they can just pick up from you locally wherever your local location is. Next we're going to go over and we're going to set up the sales tax. A lot of states or many states require sales tax. This is something you'll also need to have set up at your county office, okay? Um, you wanna get automated sales calculation for your product at your business location and let the Avalara tax tool 
handle the rest for you. Now that we have all of that out of the way, there's a couple more things that we want to do in order to ensure that everything rolls out smoothly and everything is up and ready to go for the real world. You can see here there's like a red explanation point over here and this explanation point just basically lets us know that hey you know there's a couple more things that need to be done. So we're going to go up here and we're going to go to connect the secure payment provider. You're going to start accepting secure payments online by connecting a payment provider within your region. You can get integrated payment management and competitive payment processing rates with Wix payments. As you can see here, I'm going to set up my Wix payment, which will allow me to set Visa, MasterCard, so and so on and so forth. There's also an option here for you to allow Apple Pay or disallow Apple Pay. I'm going to go back because I also like to accept PayPal. So I'm going to allow PayPal integration for my website payment as well. So as you can see here, I'm integrating my PayPal account so that way I'll be able to get PayPal payment. Okay, so now that we've got all of that taken care of, it's time to move on to getting our store live. Now it's time to push everything out and get the store live and ready for the real world. We're gonna do it. Here is where you're gonna get a branded domain and when I say a branded domain this is basically where everything is branded or tailored to your particular shop or store slash e-commerce store so that you can have all of the tools and everything branded and labeled professionally for when you roll out. And speaking of professionalism what better way than to have your professional store mobile friendly yes honey mobile friendly that is the way to go everybody has their phone in their hands if not their phone they have their tablet and everybody's just scrolling so you want to be able to format and create your website so that fits on all of those little strings no matter what device your customer is using and now I'm going to show you guys exactly where you can go into your site to create your mobile friendly version of your website you just have to do a little rearranging to make everything you know fit properly so nothing's out of place or out of space so make sure it is easy for them to find what they want and just cleaning up everything to make everything look exactly like it does on the website now that we have that done we are ready yes honey we are ready it is now time to publish your store how do you publish your store you ask click here and boom look at that your store is published we have a fully designed website from start to finish and we also have a mobile friendly version readily available for everyone to view Now here's another thing that I would highly encourage you guys to do next. On your mobile phone or on your mobile device, download the Wix mobile app. With the Wix mobile app, this will allow you to manage your online store from anywhere. Yes, you can be out of state, you can be out of town, no matter where you are. You need to make some quick updates or some quick changes or maybe even you need to add a couple of new products track shipping, manage inventory, and you can even chat online with your users. Again, this is another reason why I love my Wix platform. Yay! Congratulations! You did that, boo! You have created your own online store. Good for you! Now, if you have any questions, of course, you already know what to do. Go ahead and drop those down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Huge shout out and major thanks to my sponsor, Wix. Now that we've gotten our store online and it's ready for the real world, what's next? Next, we need to scale it, right? Not only do I want you to have your website up and ready to roll, I also want you to be able to scale your business. In part two, we're going to go over how to drive traffic to your website and how to ensure that you do not miss a sale. So again, you don't want to miss out. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys back in part two. Thanks, love. Bye.